Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Klaus Genold and a big pleasure for me to present something about the psychoacoustic and its benefit for the urban soundscape. Let's start with the introduction. In daily life situations, human beings are usually exposed to acoustical contributions of different sources superposing in a complex manner. Based on binaural hearing, human beings consciously or unconsciously focus on certain sources and suppress others. Consequently, the determination of noise annoyance or pressure level caused by complex sound situations is non-trivial. Psychoacoustics allows for analyzing multi-source scenarios more in detail, much better than simple SPL sample. Consideration. Problem is how to measure the sound of soundscape. The judgment of acoustical environment is multidimensional. The effects of superposition of several sound sources is not easy to predict. The human hearing is able to select a single sound source among others. Dependency of distance and spatial contribution is not clear. The psychological and cognitive aspects of sound are not physically measurable. The question is how to measure the sound. Very accurate, like the LEQ with highest precision, dot CO0, or correct, like the human hearing with consideration of What about the A-weighted sound pressure level? The A-weighted sound pressure level is often used and is adequate for the determination of a possible physical damage of the hearing. But the A-weighted sound pressure level is not sufficient for the complete description of noise, impact or perceived sound quality. Psychoacoustics broadens the comprehension of noise evaluation. Psychoacoustics describe between the physical stimuli and the induced perception. Speaker. The relationship between sound quality on one side and psychoacoustics on the other side. Psychoacoustics measures are often applied in the context of sound quality investigations. It is a knowledge that successful sound engineering can profit from the knowledge in psychoacoustics 